Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well today. In today's video, we're gonna cover a new pay yourself back feature that was introduced by Chase this month. This new feature applies to the Chase Sapphire Preferred and the Chase Sapphire Reserve. There has been a lot of travel changes on these two cards because of everything that's going on in the world. So let's just do a quick recap. Currently for the Chase Sapphire Preferred, it's still an annual fee of $95, that hasn't changed. The only thing that's changed with this card is that they've added a 3x earning category on grocery stores. Uh, $1,500 a month, that was good for May and June. We don't know what's happening with July or later. It could be extended, we don't know yet. And when using this new pay yourself back feature, you can redeem your Chase Ultimate Reward Points at a rate of 1.25 cents to purchases from uh, restaurants, grocery stores, and home improvement stores. This is pretty cool. And then a recap on the Chase Sapphire Reserve. This, uh, the annual fee was increased from $450 to $550 at the beginning of the year. People were not happy. People were canceling their card. Then all of these travel restrictions started happening. So Chase uh, ha has, has tried to clean up the situation. So here are the facts. The annual fee, if you sign up for the card now, is still $550. You still get the $300 travel credit and the $120 worth of DoorDash dining credits. $60 this year, $60 next year. But if you already have the card and the card renews between July 1st and December 31st, then you're going to get a $100 statement credit. So your, your, your annual fee is actually only going to be $450 if you're renewing this year. You already have the card. And then for everyone, this $300 annual travel credit, it's being converted to a grocery store and gas station credit. So if you're using this card between July and December, and you want this $300 travel credit, you can still use it for travel if you want, but it can also now be used for gas and grocery stores. This is a great change. And then additionally, Chase added a 5X earning category for grocery stores on the reserve card. So if you use the reserve card for uh, May and June, so May is already done, but for this month, you're earning 5X points back on grocery stores up to 1,500 in spend. And with this new pay yourself back feature, you can use your Chase Ultimate Reward Points to earn cash back on your, once again, grocery store, home improvement, and restaurant purchases going back 90 days in the past. Let's now log on to the Chase website and I'll show you exactly where this pay yourself back feature is and how you can use it. So here is my Chase account. I, I only have two cards with them. Let's click on the Chase Sapphire Reserve. It currently shows that I have about 56,000 ultimate reward points. You can go ahead and click on that. There might be a tile right here where it tells you about the new pay yourself back feature. Currently it's showing me that I can earn 5X points on grocery stores until June 30th. So just click on the hamburger icon and then over here on the left, it says new, this is new as of yesterday, pay yourself back. So what it's telling me here is choose your recent purchases. Currently the categories for pay yourself back are restaurants and grocery stores, including takeout and eligible delivery services and home improvement stores. Redeem for purchases in these categories made with your Chase card with ultimate rewards. After each purchase posts, you have 90 days to pay yourself back, which is pretty cool. And because I have the reserve, I get 50% more value for my points. If you have the preferred, you get 25% more value for your points. So the only charges that I have on my reserve from the last couple months is actually DoorDash. I was trying to trigger the $60 worth of DoorDash credits. So if I want to, I can pay myself back, even though I've already gotten statement credits from Chase for DoorDash. What would happen is my account balance would go negative. I would have like a balance of negative $60. I can then use my Chase card for whatever purchases I want, internet bill, cell phone bill, and then I'll slowly work my way back to a $0 balance. So this charge you see of $10.15, if I was redeeming Chase Ultimate Reward Points at a rate of one cent per point, this would cost me 1,015 points to clear this charge or get cash back. And because I'm getting a rate of 1.5, it's only gonna cost me 676 chase points in order to clear this $10.15 charge. I think this is pretty cool. If you're someone who has a lot of chase ultimate reward points and you just wanna cash them out right now for whatever reason, Chase is giving you that option. Additionally, for the month of June, you're earning 5X points back with the reserve card on groceries and then if you just use those points to pay yourself back, it's the equivalent of giving 7.5% off your grocery purchases uh, this month. 
I'm currently using my Amex Gold for grocery purchases. However, this is a better rate. So this month, I'm definitely going to switch and use my reserve for grocery purchases. And of course, if you're someone who likes using your ultimate reward points to transfer to transfer partners, maybe Hyatt or something, you know that you're getting better value for your points. But once again, if you're someone who just likes redeeming points in the travel portal for hotels and flights, getting, getting uh, cash back for your grocery and uh, dining purchases is, is amazing. I, I'm really happy with this change that Chase has made. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up so the algorithm knows it's good. In addition, consider subscribing to my channel. I talk a lot about credit cards these days. And if you have any comments or questions, leave me one down below. I love hearing from you guys. And until the next video, take care.